All right, too. Let's see what kind of <gasps> trouble we can get ourselves into. Yes, I'm actually bored, so I figured instead of sitting around doing nothing, I'm just gonna uh, work on stuff and make a video. So this got abandoned like a long time ago. Uh, last year, bought them home. We're all like, "Yeah, we're gonna like rebuild it and this and that." And you guys are like, "Cool." I talked about putting a Harbor Freight motor on it. Uh, I was gonna. I wanted to call it the Montgomery Freight, not the Montgomery Ward, but that's okay. I'm not gonna do that. Um, this engine it took from that little edger that I got with this. Um, this motor is pretty clapped out. You'll see here in a moment. So it needs a little bit of work. The other motor that was on here, that thing was like, it was filled with water and it just the piston wouldn't move and it was all stuck. Didn't feel like messing with it, so I abandoned the edger. And and they're both the same uh, engine color too. Same engine that was on the uh, on this originally. So this just bolted right back on like it belonged there, and it looks like it belongs there. So it does run and it does work and it does till, but the motor's tired. And I haven't started it. Oh, well, it hasn't ran in a year, or so over a year. So we'll give her some choke. I think the carburetor liked the leak. That was one thing. It's got a little bit of compression. It's real easy though. Yeah, it smells like it's flooded. I'm just gonna get the gas out of here. It's kind of old gas, so I'm not worried about wasting. What's in here? If anything, I'll use it to clean this uh, pan out with. Oh, we got some floaties. She's probably plugged up. I think I put fresh oil in this. I'm not. I can't remember. Ugh. Pretty grody. Thinking we're gonna try and do. What if we do it on frame rebuild? The air filter is crap, so we need to get a new one. Should go get my notebook. The carburetor's fine. I don't feel like I don't plan on changing that out. I'm gonna get a couple more things from the truck. So I'm just gonna get all this crap kind of taken off to get the choke and throttle cable out of the way. We're just gonna we're gonna do it, tubes. We're gonna do it. I'm about ready to take my shirt off. Not that anybody wants to see that. I think this choke thing might need to come out. Might need to throw a new O-ring in it. Actually, I don't need to throw an O-ring. I don't know why it's why it was leaking in the first place. Because when it gets to a certain spot where oh, fuel vapor is coming out, because it's it's slotted and I don't know, not worried about it. Tubes, come on, tubes. You know what? I have an idea. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, this is so much better. I need an 11. 
think it was an 11. Yep, and then we're going to break out the baby. You know what, what am I doing? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's... That's better. My, my goal today is I want to get the cylinder head off and so we can get a get a get a look at what's going on under under there uh, that's right I uh, I put a new wire on here because it was all it was it was just it was dicked so this thing is good this was all missing on the other engine if I recall. Um, it just, it has a little, it has got some compression, but it's not very good. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to get a valve lapping tool, some other stuff for this type of work, because I do what kind of want to do a halfway decent rebuild on this. At least get it to where this is, uh, got better compression. So I'm going to flip you over here. I'm going to take this off here. That's ever been off. Going to need the shielding. Let's see what, what size is this? Seven, seven. No, that's the size that's not in here. Go figure, right? Uh, was it was not seven sixteenths, nine sixteenths? No, half, half inch. Come on, be half inch. Yeah, it's just a half inch. The smell of gas is gonna give me heartburn. Um, I'm not quite ready to take that guy off. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I do want to take this guy off. I need to tin this wire up. I want to make sure you guys can see this very uh, clearly because uh, I don't want it to be a case of that I couldn't see what you were doing because you're a dipshit. Oh well, thanks. So this is just the governor, Dumaheke, and then your throttle linkage right here. Tensions of the Dumaheke. Very simple, just a piece of, you know, tin. Quarter? Quarter. Yeah, I can't remember if I had this laying around or if I got it from another engine that was uh, with that deal. So I'm just gonna unhook this and then the carburetor can come off as an assembly. I don't feel like losing these screws. I walk into the hardware store with a whole engine and like, yeah, did you have that? All right. So we can get at the engine. Safety McLarises. Yeah, I mean, that's, I'm barely even turning this thing. And it burns oil a lot, so I'm thinking that the cylinder walls are just chooched. Cylinder wall. So we're on the compression truck, we're on top of the turner. 
And then a cop pulls the ambulance over for going too fast. Ugh. What in the hell? Oh, you guys gotta see this. What the hell got in here? There's like metal bits in here. So let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, I know what happened. Somebody put too long of a spark plug in here. I don't know if this is fixable. You'd have to machine it and put a bigger piston. I think this block is gone. At least it's too much for my... Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. So right now, what I'm thinking... I'd have, to, I'd have to just hone it. I could probably get away with honing it and then putting a new set of piston rings in this. The valves are pretty nasty. I went ahead and cleaned that up. Yeah, this definitely had some shenanigans going on. I cleaned any extra metal out of there and... Let's see how we do here. And the gasket's one of those older gaskets that doesn't get glued on and then it freaking... Uh, then doesn't want to, um, it'll never reseal again. And part of this spark plug looks like it's gapped too close. I'm going to pop it out after we put it back in here and clean it out. Well, we cleaned out, there was metal debris in there. I cleaned that out so it won't do any future damage. It's just not going to have the compression that we, that it really should have. I remember this as a little kid. I never really, I never used power tools on these, but uh, what I would do is torque them down properly, or, or uh, what I thought was properly. This is about 20 foot pounds, I think it was. I don't know what the actual torque pattern was. We'll go with we'll go with this. Try one more time. Tink. Tink. We'll go alternating. Tink. Okay, now they're they're not loosening them up. And then you see it split right in half, you're like fuck. It's a little better. We're just doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Oh, she may be savable. I want you guys to tell me what you would do with that if you saw that with that cylinder. 
like that. You know, should I get it machined and try and find a bigger piston or just throw, throw a different motor on it? Or just run until she don't run no more. Okay, huh, man. Not quite the right filter, but it's close enough. I might have to change out of this shirt. So it's gonna be like, you know, I don't even need to cut it down. I'm supposed to oil these things. It's already got some oil in it. <laughs> I don't even need to cut it. Got some say 30 here for it. I'm gonna need to grab um grab a grab a tiny funnel. At least have fresh oil in it. And I just fill it to the end of the threads on the uh, fill hole here. And that should be good enough for it. This is going to take forever with this funnel. Right there. I put my zip tied thing on just in case it doesn't shut off. There's no belt, so don't give me shit about the tying thing. Starting plug? Yep. She sure burns oil. <laughs> 